Welcome again. This time we're going to go through the third nerve, the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve, of course, is as follows. So, after the brachial plexus comes out, the ulnar nerve comes from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. Having come from the medial cord, if we come into it here, you can see the ulnar nerve go medially in the arm. And it goes medial to the auxiliary artery. After it goes medial, the ulnar nerve pierces the intramuscular septum over there in between the anterior and the posterior compartment of the arm and goes behind the medial malleolus. And if you feel that on yourself, that's actually quite a... That's the funny bone, the, the area which um, quite commonly can get injured when you elbow down onto a table. And that's where the ulnar nerve is, just behind the medial malleolus. After it goes back there, it comes forwards to join the, radio, uh, the ulnar artery, which is coming from the brachial artery, and goes into the two heads of the flexor carpi ulnaris. So it supplies it with motor supply and also supplies the ulnar half of the FDP, which leads to flexion at the fourth and fifth digits at the DIPJs, just over there. So after it supplies the FCU and the FDP ulnar half, it then descends in the forearm distally, and just above the wrist joint, about five centimeters or hand's breadth above, it goes <coughs> off the dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve, and you can see it come dorsally and supplying sensation to the back of the hand, just in this green area. And if we turn around, ulnar nerve, after it gives off that branch, which is a purely sensory branch, it then goes distally into, the, into Guillain's canal, G-U-Y-O-N-S, Guillain's canal. And it does so accompanied with the ulnar artery. And as it goes inside, the ulnar nerve then splits and supplies the rest of the muscles of the hand, other than the loaf muscles. So it supplies the adductor hallucis, it supplies the other lumbricals, three and four, the interossi, and also gives sensation to the hand in the green area as outlined over here. So thank you very much. That was the course of the ulnar nerve. In the next video, we're going to go and uh, see how to test for the ulnar nerve. Thank you very much for listening.